I've just been failing to play Dynamite Heady for the Mega Drive and um, I'm going to go to another platforming game that I have played before um, it's by Konami and it's Animaniacs based on that kind of a annoying cartoon show, I say annoying, it wasn't really annoying, it was just that the characters were kind of annoying but it was still kind of good at the time uh, it's Animaniacs Animaniacs, yep, yeah. that's that like shit. So I'll put it on, no, I won't put it on easy because it can only have normal. But yeah, I've played this before. Um, it's kind of confusing um, to begin with, um, but it is pretty straightforward once you work it out. Right, so you basically come out here. So, you need to swap, I think. How do you do it? Something like... First thing, <laughs> first thing you've got to do is work out, ah, that's it, this guy. Oh. So, first thing you've got to do is push that to get over. Music's kind of repetitive. Um, so you got things like this bomb, and you got to hit it with a hammer. And that'll blow that wall up. So yeah, basically got the three main characters, and um, they've all got like special kind of power. You know, this one sends the love to people, kisses them, whatever you want to call it. Basically, you move through the uh, studio, and uh, each studio has got kind of a theme. So, this is some kind of space theme. Um, so, what do we want here? Try the, the old hammer. So, that works. And we get this thing here. What's this? It kind of looks like the. Uh, I was going to say, it kind of looks like the thing off Ranger X but it um, doesn't really. It did when it still had a wheel on it. This guy's got his ping pong kind of thing going on. Uh, we'll jump on top of that. Um, what do I have to do with this? Smash it. Mm, so I need to find some way of getting up there. I have played through all this before, but I just play that many uh, Mega Drive games, etc., that I'm, it's easy to forget. Oh, that's it, you can just push them. Jump across the gap. I guess I've got to jump onto that and I've failed. Oh, actually, I think I might know what to do now. Yeah, I like this game. Um, it's interesting. It's a bit like the way it plays is a bit like. Um, have I missed that? Yeah, the way it plays is a bit like uh, Roll Out to the Rescue. That's another game where you've got different characters with different powers. Um, I, I must say I prefer um, Animaniac so just because it's Rollo to Rescue is a bit gay. You know, it's a bit homo, it's all like fluffy animals um, and that kind of thing. It's just like what the fuck, you know what I mean? Oh dear, how have I done that? <laughs> Not doing well at my games today, I must say. Um, usually, I'd expect to be playing like this when I'm hungover or something, but I only had three cans of pear cider last night. But um, 
Maybe that's still affecting me in some way. stand on here and do it. Like that. Right, so I'm guessing here I need her to do her old lovey dovey thing. Looks like I can't remember the buttons. Yeah, look at this, I'm a pro. So I've got to fucking jump onto it though, aren't I? Jesus. It's hard work. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's um it is a game that kind of relies on, you know, full on memorization and um, precision platforming. Um, but I, th I think it's a good game. It certainly, you know, it gives you enough continues, etc., to get through the game if you can. Um, I managed to pull everything off perfectly. If I don't get any further than I did last time, then I'm going to end the video. I've got quite far in this game, but it is a lot harder. Um, when you try and talk at the same time. Ah, so spot on. All I have to do is stand on it. Come on, can get on with it. One thing I would change is the way that the, the music kind of doesn't really seem to change throughout the level, it just seems to stay the same. So, what I need to do is uh, get my man, this guy here, to do it. Going the other way, there. Oh, there we go. Push that down, and we're through. Awesome! Give me a bit of time, and we drop down. Make sure what that's for. Oh, God. How was I supposed to see that? That's ridiculous. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to start playing through this level again because um, it's just going to get tedious but yeah it's Animaniacs it's a, it's a well put together polished uh, challenging platformer from uh, Konami so if you're a fan of platform games it's uh, definitely worth checking out So I've just been playing um, NBA Jam and I'm going to put in a game, I can't remember whether this was something to do with NBA Jam, um, obviously it is related because it's a basketball game, so we'll put this in um, and why I say I can't remember whether it's something to do with NBA Jam is because there was a thing about the developer splitting or something, I can't remember, Wikipedia it. Um, but yeah, it could be related. Right, um, so it's not got awesome music or 
awesome presentation. Get ready, Taro. Jesus Christ. It's kind of like a fucking... <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is a dire biblical. Why has the player's got no face? What? What the fuck? Say, so look, like you can basically fucking punch people. Um, it's like a cross between that. Um, if you've seen it, Team USA um, basketball did a video on that. Um, this game kind of plays like a cross between that and NBA Jam. Why did that guy just fall over there? I mean, come on, it's basketball, you score constantly, we don't need a little fucking fanfare about it. This game's fucking stupid. Look at it. It's fucking... <laughs> it, it, it wasn't really a good idea, in hindsight, um, putting this game in directly after playing... Um, NBA Jam. Yes, I know! Fucking two points. Jesus Christ, what does it do if it, you get fucking a three pointer? Where's my player? Dickhead. What? This game's fucking stupid. This ball physics are all wrong as well. kind of playable but it's just not NBA Jam is it? That's what you gotta think. That's what you gotta say to yourself. Why would you play this when you could be playing NBA Jam or better still NBA Hang Time? <laughs> what the fuck? Why didn't he catch the ball? What a fucking retard! Yes, I know fucking two points. So, um, like NBA Jam, you only actually control one of the two players. Well, you, you, you control the movement of one of the players, um, but when the player's in control of the ball, um, that you've not got control of, um, you can kind of. You don't control their movement, obviously, but you can control when they shoot or pass it back to you. So here, look, I'm making them pass between each other and then I controlled him to get the shot off. Just fucking... <clears throat> like the way, there's no turbo either, it's just when you've got the ball, you run slow. What kind of stupid fucking game mechanics that? Yeah, that's right, I don't catch the ball. Punch the guy in the face instead. I mean, in theory, it sounds awesome, doesn't it? Um, you know, NBA Jam with punching people in the face, but unfortunately, the execution is more pit fighter than more combat. Let's put it that way. And that would be awesome. Mortal Kombat and NBA Jam mixed. Over here. Think of all the special moves you could have. You could have like a Scorpion. Get over here! And it just like sends a snake thing out and gets the ball. Well, they probably want to puncture it to be fair. What would happen if Sub Zero froze it and they did it and the ball would just shatter? You know, it's an interesting concept this game, um, but it's it's playable, but it's, so is a fucking turn of the joystick, you know, it's, 
pretty much sums up this game. So um, it's worth put it's worth buying it, it's only a couple of quid and you know, you put it on for five minutes and experience it, but there's a game that you're gonna go back to time and time again and it's just not one of those. So if you're looking for actual gameplay value then stay clear of this one but if you want to experience the uh, misery then I'm not going to stop you. Oh, a nice wet fox to get the video off to a start. Oh, and that rhymes. Armed and dangerous, just like my bum hole. Um, don't know much about this, but well, I don't know anything about it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, looks pretty shit, to be honest. Released in 2004 by LucasArts. So in theory, it should be decent, but looking at the pictures on the uh, the back of the box, which I know can be deceptive sometimes, like in the case of the Die Hard Vendetta, where the game looks awesome and it's absolutely wank. Um, start this shit. So it looks like you've got a couple of difficulty levels that you can uh, unlock when you uh, complete the game. Right, based on true, yeah, whatever, fucking true story. True stories after oh, World War II. Um, I have a token, yay, replay mission feature. Right, so it seems pretty jerky. And the sensitivity of the uh, analog sticks is fucked up and the controls are inverted. There is no place in the world for fucking inverted controls. Or even calling inverted controls normal. Kind of reminds me graphically of like I don't know World of Warcraft or something like that, which is not really a good thing. Too much sensitivity on the controls, also. It's not. It's not off to a good start, is it? One in one up. Swap thumbsticks. No. Oh, so what you're saying is that I can't even adjust the fucking sensitivity of the controller, the thumb stick and it, the sensitivity is wank. Great. Scottish like Shrek or something. So we're going into a pub. Okay, so the, the pub is where you buy weapons. Well, it's pretty realistic actually in that sense, but you'd think you'd also be able to buy a beer. Can we shoot penguins? Shoot the penguin and it don't fucking know. Right, can we go through here then or what? 
Oh, so we bought that bomb and now we can set Ready. it. Yay. It's like a game that tries to be really witty and funny, but... Oh dear. It's just not. I don't like uh, Scottish people. So I would want to play a game full of Scottish people. You know what I mean? Well, my iron blue. And my porridge. I'll do it with some tenants. Com yeah, the bullets don't feel like the landing home. It's not satisfying combat at all. Very disappointed from this from uh, Lucas Arts. Should have spent more time. Uh, what should I say? Should have spent more time making some like Star Wars Battlefront. Actually, that's what this game reminds me of now. The controls and external. You know, just like a shit version of Battlefield, like a single player version. Like they basically just got Battlefield and changed the uh, character models and level design and turned it into a shit single player game. Oh, so that's the... Oh, shut up. Yeah, that was a fucking awesome mission, wasn't it? What's with these silly fucking penguins? They all go that. Shoot them all fucking don't like penguins. Just a cheap shit chocolate bar. Crap jokes on the back. As far as I'm concerned. There's not really any sort of uh, challenge put up in uh, easy mode. You can take that as a good or a bad thing. Depending on how, you, how much of a gamer you are. Definitely not one of the, uh, the better Xbox games in my opinion. I think it's a bit gay. To be honest, that's how, it's, that's how I'd describe it. Just gay. Although it's uh, picking up pace a bit now. There is actually quite a bit of... Uh, Bit of action going on, some enemies to shoot, some penguins to slay. It is getting better, but I can't help but just think it's Battlefront with shit tacked on now, to be honest. I don't know if it was the same development team, probably completely development, completely different development team. Embarrassing because I can do whatever I want. I kind of hate games that try to be funny and are just cringe worthy. Stick to making games, I'm trying to be a fucking comedian. And they in arts! Rip off the uh, the wall. 
Oh, hey, we have to destroy the building there. Yeah, a bit of a walk through this game. The thing is, I like, um, I like interesting, cool games of their own, yeah, design and all that, gubbins, you know, just unique titles. I don't like games that try to be funny that aren't, and this falls into that category. Um, Stupid fucking shit characters, badly kind of designed by fucking idiots. Just not feeling this game whatsoever. And uh, in fact, I think I'm gonna end this video because I'm bored of running around this fucking shit fucking landscape, shit buildings, and shit fucking game. Well, the last Xbox game I played, it's here, and it promised easy to play bone crunching arcade gameplay. Now, I don't know about the bone crunching part, but I'm expecting easy to play arcade gameplay from the Atari Anthology. So, let's put this in and hit record and expect some old games. 85 of them. Wow. It's just got to be an emulator on a disc. Woohoo! Yay! So yes, um, as I've stated in a previous video, I've never really had any um, Atari experience. The only real, real um, Atari console I want to pick up is the uh, Jaguar, to be honest, just to see how shit it is. Um, what, what have I heard of? Heard of all these really. Uh, let's start off with an easy one. Pong, yay! So this is the sort of game that I would have played on um, a Spectrum. Because I had a ZX Spectrum back in the day. Um, this game was just you know, it was just copied to death and was on everything. Um, but really this needs to be played with a kind of dial controller with a rotary controller. Um, yeah, it's quite hard actually, somehow. It's not really a game to play against the, uh, the computer. The control doesn't seem great to be honest, without that um, control of uh, a rotary system. So yes, that's Pong and I suck at it. So we're going to quit the game. Uh, I'm going to go back, looks like there's some options there for Pong, but uh, we're going to leave it. Uh, play Super Breakout, we all know Breakout, smashing bricks with balls. Sounds like some kind of fucking porn fetish. Uh, but we're going to start and we're going to fail. There's the ball. Ah, you fucker! I'm going to start. 
So this game, uh, so far Pong and Breakout, don't work with this controller. I don't know whether it's the way that... No, I think it's the, um, the actual game itself. It's just not... My foot can't start it now. Um, it just doesn't work. There's too much travel. Every time you press it, the D-pad like once, and there's no real accuracy from the. Yeah, you know, it doesn't shoot across, but then you have to. Oh, it's just fucking. Yeah, that's shit. You can't fucking play these. Slidey, slidey, ball and bat games, let's call them, on this, it's fucking rubbish. Um, let's go out of here, actually. Be exciting, but I doubt it. So these are 2600 games, these ones. Um, so if you had a 2600, you'd probably like some of these uh, things, games. Uh, what? Oh. So I'm assuming that you can only play this like two player, hence why the uh, the tank isn't moving, so kind of a, a pointless game to be playing. Don't think that the um, don't think the menu is very uh, good for navigating. I know the way that you press up and down and it, it's got things on the left, things on the right. It's like, why? Why aren't they just fucking lids? Submarine Commander. Try this. Spinning around, looking for stuff to uh, sink, basically. So yes, yeah, so it's not playing this. Isn't making me think. Oh, I wish I'd have had a Atari 2600 back in the day. To be honest, um, but if you had one, then you probably had a lot of fun with these games, and you'd know how to play them, unlike me. Um, is that submarine commander? We'll get out of the action genre. Space games. Racing games. What is that? I drive a slot racer, sprint master. Street racer! That sounds cool. Don't it is. Another two player only game, I'm guessing. So, um, yes. I'll try one more game, one more racing game. Let's try slot races. There's a bird outside the window there. It's fucking scared shit out of me. What the fuck? This looks like it. It's another two-player game. 
where you do what? Race to the fucking... God. You'd think it'd fucking tell you to fucking... that it was two player only when you're selecting the fucking thing. You know what I mean? What's the fucking crack with that? It's fucking poor. Uh, there's no like attempt to just making this game accessible to anyone who didn't have a, an Atari 2600 um, back in the day. This is single player, twitchy controls, um, fucking. This doesn't. Translate. I'm not sure whether the 2600 was the one with the rotary controller. Um, or it was more with a little joystick, or both, or what. But these games don't control at all with the the Xbox controller. It's horrendous. Um, so that's the Atari anthology. You might get on with it a bit more if you used to own an Atari 2600 it's got 85 games which consists of 67 Atari 2600 games including Gravatar, Millipede, Super Breakout, Video Pinball, Yards Revenge and Warlords if they mean anything to you and it's got 18 classic arcade games including Asteroids, Battlezone, Centipede, Missile Command and Tempest um, but unfortunately it's just not for me, there's no nostalgia there for me. So, next on my gameplay agenda is going to be Automobili Lamborghini for the Nintendo 64. Let's slap this motherfucker in and boot it up. So, this game for me, what I can remember of it was it was the first console game I'd ever heard of that had a manual clutch option. Obviously, I won't be using that in this uh, gameplay. That manual clutch feature um, because it's not really worth doing unless you've got a steering wheel and everything. Right. So, oh, that's why I've just worked. Oh my god, I'm retarded. I was, um, fuck's sake. I was playing Fighters Destiny earlier and I was like, why the fuck am I on the right side of the screen? And then I just looked and realised that it's because I was. Fucking plugged into controller socket number two like a fucking naughty. Right. Developed in 1997 by Titties. Uh, so, a few different options. We'll just jump in some arcade. Um, we'll go Pro Series because. Uh, So you've got some different types of Lamborghinis. Um, back in these days, basically you've got the Countach and the Diablo. Diablo is the bigger one and the better one, so we go for that. Pack message. Sick of these fucking pack messages on Nintendo 64. So it's kind of uh, an arcade racing game, but it also kind of tried to be realistic. It actually plays pretty well. Uh, responsive controls, decent lick speed. 
I mean, unfortunately, I'd say that the physics aren't great. The car should have been uh, leaving the ground over that first bump. Checkpoint. Got some shortcuts, it looks like. Off road, though. Kind of reminds me of MRC, which I played the other night. Well, I played it a long time ago, but I played it the other night and did a video on it, should I say. So you can spin your car out on the grass. Checkpoint. Um, I was just seeing then if I could change the volume settings because it seems to be quite a pumping soundtrack in the background, but uh, I can't really hear it. So Checkpoint. Powered by the sound of Diablo. There's kind of a bit of a, a drabness about this game. I don't know why, but for some reason it kind of reminds me of uh, Porsche Challenge, if you ever played that on the uh, original PlayStation. I'm not sure why. Porsche Challenge, I think it's Porsche Challenge. It's been a long time since I played that game. I had awesome graphics in the day, but there's just something about it that it stopped it from being a supremely excellent game. Probably the fact that it used Porsche Boxsters as the only car in the game. It should have had some uh, 911s in it, something like that. Something a bit faster. When I was uh, growing up, the Lamborghini Diablo was just the ultimate kind of supercar for me. Awesome. I think the wheels on it are something ridiculous, like a staggered setup, I can't remember off the top of my head, but sort of like 22 inch rear wheels and 20 inch front wheels and it was like, I remember watching something where they're saying that if you've got a Lamborghini Diablo you can just park it where you want because wheel clamps don't fit round wheels because it's too big. Which I thought was also a bonus. And we've got an awesome supercar. Checkpoint. Okay, that was some quite twisty turny bits on these tracks. Slowly moving up ranks. I mean, I shouldn't take off there, but I feel like the game's a bit like a interactive roller coaster rather than a Checkpoint. racing simulation. Pretty good fun, though. I feel like four laps is a bit of. Ex excessive. Uh, it should have been three maximum. The kind of track this long, but I suppose if they're going to do four laps of every track, um, the beginner tracks will be uh, too short. Checkpoint. Never been a fan of uh, games with checkpoints. I don't really see the point in them. I don't understand why they have checkpoints on, say, an arcade game like Outrun in an arcade scenario, but you know, this was never an arcade game to my knowledge. And um, checkpoint. you know how well I do is going to be measured at the end um, by what place I come in. Checkpoint. Come on. Oh, fuck. Luckily, there's not enough grass between the uh, road and the barrier there to slide out. Let's use this one here. I spin out. Managed to not spin out, but lost first place. It's a shame. So graphics wise it's solid, um, frame rate seems pretty decent, um, 
but the, the levels are a bit barren. There's no uh, nothing going on. No, you know, with these kind of games, you expect like a hot air balloon or a, you know, Ridge Racer always had like helicopters up above. Just something to create a bit of ambiance. Oh, the fuck. oh that was the start there. Random, so if you went the other way you didn't go through the finish. Strange. Get ready! Alright, so it jumps you straight into the next level which looks like some kind of airfield. Looks like I got a bad start there. Too many revs. Oh they love this fucking Fog effect on Nintendo 64 games is so annoying. There's no need for I mean, the original Turek had fog because the levels are so um, vast and it was kind of masking, popping. But you can tell that this game doesn't suffer from severe popping yet, they've just added the fog anyway. It just defies belief. It look depressing. I feel like I'm fucking racing through China. Could be China, but I don't think it is. Checkpoint. Uh, that fucking roundabout flummoxed me, seeing as I couldn't see the bastard thing. Checkpoint. It's a it's a pretty playable game, but I'm not using I'm not using the brakes in it. You know, you, you should have to use the brakes in a racing game. It's as simple as that. Checkpoint. Otherwise, it might as well just accelerate itself for you, like it's a fucking one of them iPad games where you just tilt your iPad to turn. It automatically accelerates and brakes. I imagine you get pretty bored of this game quick. I mean, it's alright to pick up and play, but there's no real depth to it. Checkpoint. I mean, I'm running out of time when I'm in the middle of the, the pack of cars. That's one of the things that, I mean, I'm in third place now and I'm nearly running out of fucking time. It's just ludicrous. Checkpoints are not good. Luckily nowadays with the, uh, the more realistic racing games that we have, we don't have to suffer checkpoint blues. Checkpoint. I mean I I only just I coasted over the line there. It's crazy. You know what I'm gonna end here because I'm sick of these fucking checkpoints beeping at me. So um, overall Lamborghini it's uh, quite an, it's playable and there's nothing fundamentally broken about the game, um, it's just kind of average, um, there's no real selling feature other than if you're dying to play a game with a uh, manual clutch, so it's worth picking up because you can get it pretty cheap but uh, it's not the best racing game on the Nintendo 64.
I've now decided it's a good idea to already put the game in with this master system and get it to work and then start recording the video because the cartridge slot is pretty damn fucking grimy and doesn't really want to play any games. So we've got here Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco GP2. Yeah, so sequel to Super Monaco. Bit weird for me because I first played Super Monaco GP, the first one, on the Mega Drive. Not really sure why they even released it on this system, uh, Super Monaco GP2. So, World Championship, new game. It's almost like the. I don't know whether there was a Game Boy, uh, Game Gear even. Um, version of this game but it's almost like the only reason why I can think that they released it on the Master System was because it was so easy to interchange um, code between the two systems. I mean, how slow? Is it automatic manual gears or something? What? Yeah, so, why am I stuck in first gear? Is it like a rolling start where it's waiting for me to go over the line or something? Hmm, strange. Is this as fast as it goes and why is the other person like... Oh, I assume that was gears but it's not, I think that's how many laps what lap you're on, is it? Oh, yeah, C does the gears. So how do you shift down though? The C button does the gears. Does it automatically? There's no brake, eh? Oh! So it accelerates automatically and then you just, all you do is the gears, that's a bit wank. Plus the car half feels like it's going round on rails, it almost feels like one of those shit fucking iPad type games where you tilt the iPad to steer except without the tilting. God, pretty boring. Wonder if you can change it. There's no uh, reset button on this console, so you just have to power off, then power on again. Surely, you've got to be able to have fucking normal accelerate and brake controls with automatic gears anything else is just fucking disabled so it's not there although there was another menu Model A or Model B, what's that supposed to mean? Automatic. Oh, I don't see what happens. God, you shouldn't have to do that. So now we're accelerating with the day. We were accelerating, well I thought we were accelerating with the C button. What? Here we go. So it 
So yeah, you use the C button to accelerate now and B to brake. Where are all the fucking cars? Why is that guy miles ahead of me again? Is it, I, I'm guessing it's just a fucking extremely stripped down version of the uh, the Mega Drive game. This is rubbish. I mean, Super Monaco GP, the first one, was one of my favourite games on the uh, the Mega Drive. With its, um, it had like seasons, and you could move team and get a better car and select a rival and shit like that, you know, it had a bit of depth to it but, um, you know, this hasn't even got any other cars on the track that I can fucking see all I can see is a red dot going around on the map it's like am I that red dot? I must be that red dot all I can see is a yellow dot going around then no, but I'm going around the corner, but, hey, eh? I fucking know, what a load of shit, I think I'm the red dot, yeah, must be, yeah, I am, This game fucking sucks! This game would be alright on the Game Gear, but as a home console game, it's just dire. That was sending me to sleep. I think I've just been lapped. I'm not supposed to keep up with that guy. I've been lapped again. I'd have been fucking lapped twice by the same fucking darts. Fucking gone around that quick, has it? Why the fuck did it just reset itself when I chucked my controller at the fucking desk? So yeah, Super Monaco GP2 on the Sega Master System is an absolute shower of shit even compared to the first Super Monaco GP on the Mega Drive and I was wondering why they've released this game on the Master System and I'm still wondering why because I don't see what the point of it is because it's just rubbish, it's not got the multiple cars of Super Monaco GP doesn't look, I mean it looks like it's got some sort of championship but it doesn't look like it's got the in-depth kind of um, season uh, and shit like that so I definitely can't recommend this one I mean obviously um, chances are that you're not playing on a master system because you're that poor that you can only afford a master system so if you want to play some Super Monaco GP then get a Mega Drive and play on that because uh, this is fucking rubbish. So going from one game to literally a game, um, you'll hear now the sound of my Philips CDI tray. Well oiled machine that. 
and we're slotting in backgammon for the CDI obviously and uh, I don't know how he played backgammon so should be interesting I do not have any idea how to play backgammon and I don't really have any idea why they needed to release a backgammon game probably because a backgammon game is about the only thing that the Philips CDR is capable of doing competently 1991 prepare to be amazed person versus person person versus machine machine versus machine that must be me because I'm a machine no I'm not I'm a person but I'm a person that's a machine novice old man he is a novice dark and light it looks like silver and gold to me to be honest pardon me just got excited when I saw the game so looks like we've got some classical music have we bit of Mozart, bit of Bach bit of Beethoven bit of Bergier Wow, um, well I've got a cursor and that, that doesn't look like backgammon, whatever backgammon is supposed to look like. So we've got a man and his dog, it kind of reminds me of Mutley. Right, so what the fuck do you do in backgammon? What colour am I? I'm silver, wanna? Um, what the dice do? So roll the dice. And we've got a six. What does that mean? Uh, the fuck is this, man? What do we do with that? What's that there? Six to four. Is that just like the score or something? Where's the fuck tutorial, man? They're just like flashing, not doing anything. Wow, look at the way that their eyes follow the cursor. That's amazing. What do you do? What? I at least want to see something happen. Or do I have to roll the dice again? Nope. Don't let me do that. Shut the fuck up. Um, what kind of a game is this? So, what about these here? Relevance, man, what's the relevance? I have to like swap it for these or something. Hey, did something happen then? I don't know. My god, this is what you don't want to be doing when you've had no sleep playing fucking backgammon on the Philips CDI. What was I thinking? You'd have to st oh, we can do the dice again, can we? Oh, hey, is it? Oh, he's the computer. I thought I was him. Oh, I've got to beat the old man. Fucking dickhead. You laughing at Mutley? Right, so time for me to. Roll the dice again. Oh. My god, this is such an amazing game. Um. Oh, it moved. So, what's the idea for me to take over? I don't fucking know, I give up.
It's shit anyway. Even if you know how to play backgammon, just look at it. Shit. Fucking rubbish. It's on Philips CDI. You won't have any fucking space to sit down in your living room if you put a Philips CDI in it because it's so fucking humongous. And look at the shit graphics it puts out. Terrible! Uh, a game I remember um, from back in the day, um, I think I remember it from being on um, some kind of game show on like Nickio Nickio Nickelodeon with um, you know, that Violet Berlin fucking ho, if anyone remembers her. Uh, released in 1994, it's Balls 3D, The Battle of the Balls. Um, so yeah, somebody, um, I can't remember exactly which subscriber it was, um, but somebody was mentioning, I can just blow this, since I've had this with every game just lately. Um, now somebody mentioned that the SNES version uses a Super FX chip. Um, I don't know whether, whether that was true. Um, if you could get back to me on that, I'll probably Google it myself actually. Um, yeah, we'll soon see, see what this is saying. Options, so difficulty, easy. So they're trying to be funky with the old music. So basically every character is made up of balls. That's the name of the game I suggest, and it is a fighting game, I think of Pixie Army, which looks like a fat nude. I think it's supposed to be a sumo wrestler. Oh, is this actually fighting? What? Hey? What? Oh, I don't. I always remember this to, even though it sounds stupid because it's called Ball Street here, I kind of remember it being a 2D game, I never really grasped the 3D concept of it. Um, yeah, this is a game worth picking up, like I say every so often. Um, there's a game where the gameplay might not be good, but it, the game just got its own style and uh, for that reason it's kind of like a piece of art and I'd say this is definitely one of those games but the music's fucking dire uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit confusing really so is that it? I'm going to explode into a shower of balls Fuck you, combo. What? Hmm. Trundling this game. Nice titties, bitch. I don't want to play Tsunami and get his crap. What the fuck? It's just so bizarre playing as a bunch of balls. Fucking characters have just got bizarre attacks as well, it would seem. It's kind of hard to differentiate one track, one track, one attack, should I say. Not, not get the music mixed up with the technique. 
Yeah, all the attacks kind of seem to merge into one just kind of a mess. And then your person ball type thingy just explodes. I don't want to fucking continue. Fuck off. Let's try and pick somebody else. Let's go from Turbo. So we've got a different kind of a change of scenery, but it's still got the same basic setup for the background, which kind of is it's already beginning to grate on me, if I'm being honest. Um, and I've only seen two varieties of the, basically the same background. Music kind of reminds me bizarrely of the um, Robocop vs Terminator soundtrack. Yeah, definitely it does. It wouldn't surprise me if it's uh, the same person that's. Yeah, it's definitely. It's, this has got to be the same person that composed this, that composed the soundtrack for Robocop vs Terminator. Put my fucking life on it, but I'd be very surprised if it isn't. It just sounds like a remix of the uh, soundtrack for the first uh, level or so on Robocop vs Terminator. I'd be interested to play the SNES version um, if it does use the Super FX chip. Because um, I can see Gaff. Uh, Gaff. Uh, Gaff. Okay, now how hard is it to say graphical glitches in this game? I don't know whether you picked up on them, but some of the. Uh, Animations get distorted and shit. Yeah, yeah, I'll run around. So I'm not gonna um, really go anymore into this game because it's just gonna be like this all the way through. Um, like I say, it's one of those games, it's worth picking up because it's got its own style and uh, it is what, it's it, what it is, it's its own game. It doesn't really copy anything else. Um, but at the same time, um, it probably looked awesome back in the day, but it's just a bit confusing now. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on on the screen, so I'd have to spend a lot of time um, getting into this one to give you an, a proper opinion on it, but um, for me it's something that I'll probably revisit and uh, try and get some gameplay down on it and uh, then kind of come up with my own verdict on it, but for now I think I'll pay about four quid for this game, so it's definitely uh, one to have in your collection. And, uh, yeah, it was a big game at the time, and uh, it's definitely one to own, but I'm not decided on whether I like the gameplay or not yet. So I've got a, an awesome game here um, for the Super Nintendo, Batman Returns, uh, old school Konami, um, side scrolling beat em up. Um, so, yeah, obviously, 
it's going to be good. Um, if I can sort my recording out. And for some reason it's not wanting to load. So let's start again. There we go. 16 bit instantness. Hopefully it's got sound. Please have sound. Yes, we've got sound. We'll skip cutscene. So, I've also got Batman Returns on the Mega Drive, which is just a completely different game. Um, that game, in my opinion, is absolute crap. This is a um, kind of Streets of Rage um, type game, Final Fight, you know, all that sort of uh, team up action. But um, yeah, it's graphics are really good, gameplay, um, in my opinion, I've got a problem with uh, my pad, pausing randomly, as you can see it's one of those sheep turbo fire competition pro things, so it would never have been good when it was brand new, never mind uh, when it's 10 years old, so the only thing I would say about this game is the music, I mean it, it's in keep with the Batman style but you know it's not really suit what's going on on the screen, you know you need something a bit more upbeat but it's only a small complaint really because um, like I'll say it's an excellent beat up game. It's also not amazingly difficult, which you know I, I like in the game. I like them to ramp up progressively and uh, you know, let you sample a bit of gameplay before it hands you an attitude on a plate. There are some, um, you, know, you can do that with an attack. So, there you go. This guy's got a fucking rocket launcher. Which I want to whoop in his ass. Um, your shoulder buttons do. Uh, some kind of block, I think. Uh, do one. Blocks as well. As they side scrolling beat them up, we've got different enemies amounts of health you'd usually expect to find. Konami I've got um, some you know quite a few of these um, fucking phone mental on Facebook. Um, yeah, they, they have got quite a few of these side scrolling beat ups which are meant to be pretty good, like the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, arcade game. And, uh, I think they've got, they might have, have they got some X Men games, I'm not sure, but yeah, they seem pretty, uh, pretty adept at these side scrolling arcade style beaters. Beat ups, whatever you want to call them. I also like the way you can pick them up, pick people up and slam them into the, uh, the background. I think you can actually pick them up and then throw them into people kind of at the top of the screen as well, which is pretty cool if I can do it. Yeah, like that. So that's cool.
can't have been better if they the given them names like Jeff or Maurice rather than just literally describing what the enemy is, Fat Clown. Yeah, you know, because he is a fat clown, what's his name? I want to know the name of the person's face that I'm showering. Uh, did I just imply there that people's faces have a name? Not in the actual person, I don't know how that came across. Maybe I'm just chatting shit. Hell no, for a fact I know I'm chatting shit. Biker. So, on to the next section. Randomly, there's a big present. And now you're into. Uh, I don't know how you describe this. Um, not really, it's not really. No, it's like a side scrolling shoot or slash beta but with why do I keep saying side scrolling beta like it's an actual genre that maybe I could patent that terminology spearhead campaign for side scrolling beta mobs just called side scrolling betas. Chatting shit. There you go, basically jump up, you stand at a distance, jump up and then shoot them dudes in the face with your batarangs, whatever you want to call them. Gotta jump over the fat dudes, feed the thin ones some metal to the face, and just rinse and repeat. So the game gets bored and then lets you do something else. I think there's a boss at the end here. What was it? I can't remember. There's a douche. Turns, um, I'm not doing very well at it today, so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Well, I'm not really ahead, I've just lost. But um, yeah, it's an excellent game when you get onto the um, the later levels and such. Um, there's just a lot of uh, variety, you know, scenery to see, backgrounds. You know, excellent game, excellent graphics. Um, the music's in keeping with the Batman sort of dark tone, but I don't think it really suits the on-screen action. Um, but other than that, it's an excellent game. You know, it's still an excellent game. If the only thing you can complain about is the music not being, I don't know, not just, I don't know, it just reminds me of like Home Alone or something. Not explosive beat em up. So yeah, definitely pick it up, it's an awesome game. Next on my Sega Saturn hit list is a game um, 
well, the Saturn version of a game that um, I used to play on the PlayStation, uh, Ballerina Toshinden Remix. So, um, yeah, it's been interesting. Well, I said it's got improved gameplay, um, but I don't know. It's got a, a, an additional, additional character. Um, basically, they just had to put something in the game to justify it being uh, a late comer to the Saturn, I think. Yeah, it's not really a battle arena toshin done, it's, it's, an, it's an average fighting game, but um, it's got some amusing characters in it. So, we'll see if we can bang it on easy. Level, very easy. You can see there, it puts your special moves on your shoulder buttons. Sure, what story mode's all about? Don't remember there being a story mode on the uh, the old PlayStation version, but I may be wrong. So we'll pick Foe because he's he's the funniest guy in it, really. So we just got pointless story babble. We don't need that. More pointless story babble. Well, it's interesting that they, uh, they put it in there, but it's a fighting game, we don't care, we just want to hit people in the face. One. So, yeah, pretty much as I remember it. Quite a sluggish gameplay, really. Definitely compared to the likes of Virtua Fighter. So we'll just do the uh What the hell my special oh, yeah. oh, it's... It seems so slow I don't know whether this is a uh, it's like a bad part of the game or something. Now, I don't remember the uh, PlayStation version having this kind of stunted, slow oh, gameplay. Fire wave. It always feels like when you fight Jural in the uh, Virtua Fighter game in the underwater. That level of kind of trudging through water, making you slower. I was incorrect when I said that it puts the special moves on the shoulder buttons, it, it doesn't, it puts them on, I think it's Z and C, I think, and then you use A, B and X, Y for your attacks, you basically How lovely! Lila, Christopher! So we've got bad acting, but it suits the ridiculous... Uh, pretense of the game. I know I know you God it take <laughs> it seems like a long way to get from one fight to another in this story mode. Mouth one point So it seems like it's um, basically got the same stages um, you know, it's got all the stages out of the PlayStation version. If you're looking for a high quality um, fighting game, it's definitely not this, but you know, if you used to play this game um, back in the day, uh, it's worth a lot, but 
you'll probably realise that it was it wasn't good. You know, you might have thought it was all right, but you realise it's pretty crap when you play it now. You're better off picking up some art like, fighters, Mega Mix. Fighting Vipers, Virtual Fighter 2, any of them games. But at least you do get the uh, kind of 3D elements, you know, you can move around. Which is bonus. Really explored the uh, crouching attack yet. Oh god, it can't, it can't make it a real pointless having the special moves on, but I can't imagine how long it would take to um, finish a fight without the uh, easy trigger special moves. So we'll have a look at a bit of this bad voice acting. You're no fun at all! You didn't even try! One more stab, and it will all be over! Don't taunt me! Just finish me off! <laughs> finish you? Sorry. There's no fun in that! I'm an artist! My favorite color is red! It can't end like this! Ooh! You want more pain? I'm happy to oblige! Man, that guy's crazy. You want more pain? I'm happy to oblige. I can't fight you. You look like my grandpa. And you look like and dirty you little You look stuff. like a born China doll. <laughs> That's a sweet thing to say. Oh, I meant it. Come play with me, child. Okay, this is getting the game seedy. Won't last long. I promise you. That's just pure Japanese fucking innuendo. Utter filth. I think one more fight. Because um, this is... This isn't much fun at all. Stonehenge kind of uh, background going on. I'll try and kill myself on this one with a ring out, so I remember that used to be funny. Maybe it's only funny on the PlayStation. Sure, I used to make a like a funny noise like ooh. That's what I did. You want to play with my joystick, bitch? not responsive enough. So yeah, that's uh, Battle Arena to Shinra Remix. Um, it's pretty much as I remember it, but I don't remember it being that slow, so um, I don't know whether that's a, a difference between PlayStation and Saturn, or it's just Poor China me doll. not quite remembering how crap the game is, but yeah, uh, it might be worth checking out if you used to play it back in the day, but if you want a good fighting game for your Saturn, then um, I wouldn't really bother, but it, it's average at best.
I've got a game here which is one that I'd never heard of um, before I played it and uh, it's Battle Squadron. Uh, yeah, I just got this in a, a bundle of games and uh, I've played it before. It's not it's not the best game in the world but uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's alright. So bang it in by Electronic Arts. I think it said uh, released, that it's released in uh, 1990 on the cartridge. A nice vibrant title screen. So options, see if we can put it on easy. Just bang some extra credits and lives. So there we go, it's a top down shooter, You've got the usual, it's just just generic top down shooting action really. It's not bad, it's not great, it's average really I'd say. Much more a fan of the, um, the side scrolling shoot 'em ups and top down. Um, the game I used to play a lot when I was younger was um, Empire of Steel. Um, if you're not in the UK, if you're not playing PAL games, I think it was called Steel Empire or something like that. But over here it was called uh, Empire of Steel. That was a uh, pretty cool game. So yeah, you got power ups, change of weapons, they do the usual. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just uh, so kind of generic, but I mean, it's no, it's no bad thing. Um, you know, it's solid. But uh, yeah, there's no nothing astounding about it. You know, you want, you want a game where you're like in a spaceship and your mission is to fly over zoos and shoot all the animals and blood everywhere. That's what you want. It's interesting, is that like a graphical fault or are they, them enemies got some sort of cloaking device? So the graphics are good-ish for a you know old uh, sake for an early-ish early-ish release for the Mega Drive 1990. Uh, nothing set the world on fire. Um, music's generic. It's just there to uh, create a bit of background noise. Really, it's nothing to get the pulses racing. Doing very badly at this game here. This could be a very short gameplay. Like me. Nah. Should be using my bombs more. Who's has got to have the kind of bomb button on it? Top down or side scrolling? Oh god. Shooter. Death. How many of these have I got? I've run out now. So they do seem to give you quite a lot of the old uh, bomberoonies, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Suck on my lasers, bitches! I'm really sure what the um, what the storyline is, if there is any. Is it like uh, oh so? I don't enter if I don't, um, oh for God's sake, I wonder if this is going to make me play that section again. For God's sake, I'm fucking Apple update! Come up on me fucking screen, you bag of shit! Fucking Apple! Wankers! Pisses me off when you own an iPod. And you fucking had to... I usually I use Podox, so I don't have to use iTunes to put um, stuff on my iPod. But I don't, I don't really own an iPod. I got given one. I'd rather eat shit than own an iPod. But yeah, um, I usually use Podox, but kind of the iPod needed reformatting or something for some reason. 
So yeah, thanks to um, Apple and their shitty art pods. Um, that's cut that fucking review short. Um, but yeah, Battle Squadron. Um, there's there's not really much point in me going into length on it. It's just generic um, top down shooting as you'd expect. You got two players. Um, what you got in the options? You know, you can change the max amount of enemy bullets, whatever that means. Change the enemy bullet speed. So yeah, it's customizable um, if generic. So yeah, it, it might be worth checking out if you've. Uh, you know, played all the other top-down shooters, and you're a top-down shooter fan, and you're just looking for, you know, something else to fill your time. Just played um, Getaway Black Monday, uh, a game I was severely disappointed with. So I'm going to bang in um, Big Mother Truckers. Um, I just found a PS2 DVD player version 2.1 in there. Wow. Why did you need a DVD player disc for a PlayStation? I assume that's like multi region fucking shit or something. So. Either that or the first one didn't have DVD player functionality, but it did, so I don't know. People will buy any old shit. So yeah, I'm expecting mindless racing with big trucks. And if I don't get it, I'm going to go mental. Because I don't want another game as annoying as Getaway Black Monday. Getaway Black Monday is a game I'm going to have to look up, um, check out some reviews on it just to confirm that it is as bad as I think. Fucking horrible game. Skippity doo da, the intros! Yes, I fucking know about the memory card. Jesus. Stupid. Bloody fucking auto saving shit. Right. So the first thing it does is ask us to pick a character. It's good. Cletus. My name's Cletus. Trial bar trucking. So, um, I mean, was this originally an arcade game? I don't know. Got some redneck soundtrack, apparently. Get done. Cletus, let's get Cletus on the road. I done got me a truck. I got you one of them new fangled satin and I'm a setting it for you. Come on, Cletus. So, got this. Ooh, where can I get a good price for my load there? Because I've got a big load. Cletus. So, we're driving a truck. Kind of reminds me graphically of. Um, the Grand Theft Auto games. I don't know whether it's just the camera perspective though. Certainly got a better draw distance than the uh, Grand Theft Auto games. So it looks like we've got to get to our destination without taking too much damage or running out of fuel. I can 
jackknife it. Doesn't seem like I can. Certainly not a game that grabs you straight away and makes you think, wow, this is amazing. I mean, I don't know whether you're going to like drop your load off and then suddenly trucks like, obviously your trailer's lighter and your truck goes faster or something. Or maybe you just lose the trailer completely. Oh, do we do gears? No, I don't think so. Hey. How do I change gear? So we're going a lot faster now. I'm not really sure how I change gears though. When I press up on the right stick, um, I mean, X. I thought X was accelerate, but it only needs to what, spin this bitch round, yeah. Woo! Maggots. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you watch out for them. If you don't shake them off, they'll pepper your rig and steal your load. Get my yeah, fuck it. Gasket Gus. Still likes it. Insecure jacket. Come on. It basically seems like it's just a driving mission game. I was expecting it to be more of a, a racer, to be honest. The fuck, fucking douchebags trying to nick my fucking shit. Can I knock him off somehow? Or what? Yeah, you fucking fanny. Yeah. Got rid of that little bitch. Yeah, don't fucking flash with me off. Fucking cabbage, yeah. So it seems to be quite a, a long distance that I'm having to uh, travel here. Handling's kind of, you know, what, what you'd expect. I like the way that you can, like, you know, kick your trailer out. Decent physics. The graphics are smooth. Um, like I say, it's certainly got that Grand Theft Auto feel about it, but um, certainly a bit more polished. I think it's just the actual camera view that kind of gives the... Uh, Gives the similarities. Not very really sure what the uh, oh, this looks, this looks like. Could be our location or something. Um, not really sure what these traffic fences mean, whether you get points deducted or added or money or what. Right, um, Pay your parking bonus, please. You listening? Didn't think so. Well, you're here, so you can get yourself to the bar. You know what that's for, don't you? Getting pussy. Or do the garage. Alright, so we're getting the store. Uh, fat man in a vest. This. Hell's that? 
VSTs and hogs are or, or cell phones. Um, so I'm guessing it's a uh, game where you basically buy from one place and then sell to the next place to make money. Um, Yeah, Come whatever. Back real soon, pal. Yeah, I'll sniff your fucking vest. Um, so, can we upgrade the truck or can we just fix it? I hop back and jump my ship. Hello there. Alright, you. you get your truck fixed here. Old Hudson still moves like a Texas car smoke. Turbo Jaja! You ain't making it easy for me to ask you to It's all locked. It's fucking rubbish, isn't it? Um, so what do we do in the bar? Get pissed. Get some fanny. Done for the day, is ya? I'm only given 60 days to make yourself a fortune. I'm guessing that you go into the bar to do like extra missions and shit. So now I'm basically going to go to the next um, location, aren't I? So I'm going to forfeit that. Um, see what mission mode's all about. So is it checkpoint based or what? So you can't like... Um, could you say crazy taxi with trucks? Um, just a, a mission based driving game but with trucks really. Um, go from object to object which is basically a, uh, a checkpoint and you get your time extension. So. Pretty hard to get into games like this uh, nowadays if I'm being honest because there's so many sandbox games that do the same thing and a lot more. So yeah, that's uh, Big Mother Truckers. Looks like it's an interesting title. Um, certainly got its own thing going on. Um, so yeah, if you're a redneck called Cletus, then uh, yeah, check it out. It's uh, not bad if you're into these driving mission kind of games and yeah. In my last video I played a, uh, a movie game, a licensed movie game that I thought was actually um, quite good, quite playable, which was uh, Enter the Matrix. Got another movie game here that someone paid a pound for at one point and it's played to. To be honest I don't hold um, high hopes for this, um, but I'm going to put it in anyway um, and uh, we'll see. You never know, you might be 
pleasantly surprised. Bit of fucking Wesley Snipes. Let's dodge our fucking taxes. Yeah. Right, so when was this released? 2002. Um, not sure whether there was a video game for the original Blade movie. Um, I don't know. Might be. Might not be. If you want to know, then uh, check it out. Why does my Xbox do this every so often? Uh, is it actually the Xbox or is it the uh, capture device? No, it's the capture device freezing for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. Let's turn this Xbox back on. And start again. Stupid Xbox. I mean, stupid capture card. Good Xbox, bad capture card. And it's party time. Yeah, so the first uh, Blade movie was great. The, the first scene of the game was great. Um, scene of the game. Did I just say scene of the game? Scene of the movie was great with the. Uh, and all that shit, you know, it was cool. Um, Listen carefully to Whistler's okay. instruction. But um, the second movie, I've not really, I've watched it, but I can't remember much about it, to be honest. Look. Right. Push the left thumbstick. Yeah, done that. Now I want you to go to the next one. Okay, boss. So a bit of a tutorial to uh, get you underway. Keep following the trail. Of okay, keep following the trail. First impression: um, the controls aren't amazing. Might take a bit of getting used to. Well, the, the movement at least. Right, so following these, come on, get on with it. Yeah. Good work, Blade. Yeah, baby. Now pull that switch to open up the gate. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that right switch, bitch. Towards. Mm, random using the form stick as a. Now that the gate is open, button. head up the steps and follow the walkway around. Okay, boss. Oh, looks like the uh, right form stick does your attacks as well. So that's interesting. Now here I want you to jump. How do Press I jump? X. X. To I? jump. Okay. Now keep following that walkway around to the firing range. Okay, boss. What do I need guns for? I'm blade. Well done. I now just use a sword and shit. Firearm practice. All right. Press left in the D-pad. Wow, where's the fucking firing range? D-pad. Left, left on the D-pad. There. Press the right trigger. Press the to right shoot. Trigger. Press A to strafe. Nice work. Yeah, now baby. Now follow the walkway around to the fighting cage. Yeah, it got me some fucking vampires in there to fuck up. Am I going this way? I think. Follow the walkway around to the fighting cage. Oh, I must be that way then. Sorry, man, just losing my fucking bearings. You got a problem? I got a big fucking sword. You all have no fucking head. Okay. Douche I'm gonna release a few of our fang friends. Yeah. Just do what you do best. Push the right thumbstick. Yeah. To perform yeah, hand bitches. to hand moves. So there's a shit to kill there. Yeah, come on bitch. Yeah. Suck on that. No, so far the, the controls aren't too bad, but um just a bit bizarre. With the uh, right thumbstick combat. Take out a whole legion of these scumbags. Don't you worry about it, old man that stinks of piss. Yeah. I'm a fucking wizard, snap your ass. Y'all have seen Demolition Man. Fuck your ass up, fool. How yeah. the hell did you let those vampires get the better of you? What? You should try that again. Fuck off. I don't want to try it again. 
But if I just pull my gun out, oh, don't let me get my gun out. You respect me, won't let me get my fucking gun out. Man, this game has wrecked your fucking control sticks. Excellent work. <laughs> wow. Right, so that's the tutorial completed. Pursue the vampire with the blood to the upper floors. Of My the God, tower. that fucking ice cream van's out again. Jesus. Yeah, just give me shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love it. Activate rage. Kharkov Tower. Yeah, skip that shit. Um, graphics are solid. Well, basically, pretty much every. Uh, Xbox game that I play um, looks smooth and solid, um, no matter what it is, pretty much. I can't really think of a, an Xbox game I've played that's got slowdown in it. Very powerful system, really. Not for its time, anyway. Lives up to its. Uh, Ooh, so ooh, exciting. Gory. This should be an 18, it's only 15. Yeah. Can do that shit. Yeah, bonus. What do I need bonus for? Chopping heads off should be a bonus. Yeah, chopping heads. But you can stop me with a barrier. We Nearly did. Come on then, pussy hole. Yeah. Come on then, boys. Closer. It's nearly as bad as Manhunt. It's actually quite playable, to be fair. Uh, nothing spectacular, though. I like a bit of a 3D Streets of Rage game. Dudes and metal back up and stuff, man. Straight up sticky bitch shit. Shoot that fucking car or something. Yeah, suck on that. Yeah, in bad day. Rage! So when you go in a rage, you get your sword out. Rage! Yeah. Ah, shut that fucking ice cream van up. I'm trying to murder people here. Distracting me. Oh fuck. Shit. Well, at least it didn't just kill me. It's not gonna come back, is it? I cannot do. Oh no, I think it is. Oh, that's a different one. We're alright. Oh no, we're dead. Oh dear. That's not good. Uh, there's nothing we can load. So yeah, that's uh, <laughs> can't. Pursue the don't want to. Uh, the blood to the upper floors of the don't want to play it anymore. But um, yeah, it's quickly through the tutorial. Um, seems like straight up uh, beat 'em up action. Uh, pretty playable. So uh, definitely want to check out if you're a, a fan of the movies. Um, doesn't seem to be a total disaster of a game like uh, a lot of movie tie-ins can be. 